Hi, we're Sam, Audrey, and Minou Perse. This is the Octobus. Come and have a look inside. So welcome to the Octobus. So this is the the main cabin here. So we uh, we kept the original front of the bus, except we had it a storage for the shoes here. Every layout is different. We had a huge space that we needed to fill, so we put some storage here. Uh, so this is a seat from Friedman. We had to use those special seats because back in where we come from in Quebec, uh, it needs to be installed by a technician to, in order to be legal. So that's our seat. It doesn't flip, doesn't do anything. It's just the legal one for Canada. <laughs> uh, so here, We've got another custom made by me, uh, so that's the cat litter here, so you can enter or exit whatever you want. And there's the solar controller at the back. We've got more storage here for the cat, so this is the cat spot here. <laughs> then uh, we move away for the living room, so this is our couch. One of the things I wanted the most in the... Octobus was a normal couch so I can lay down. It also doubles as a bed underneath. So when we got people around, we can make a bed for them. So the only thing I would change here is I would be, I would put a bigger table, but uh, for the both of us, it's, it's fine. I can also, I work from here when I work on the road. So I can put my computer and stuff on this. Uh, we've got a projector here on top, so we can uh, put a screen up here and listen to movies. Uh, we need it, uh, it need to be night or we need to put the curtain down. We've got, my girlfriend made some custom curtain that we can just roll down. They're made with reflective on this side, so it doesn't eat up too much. We've got USB ports pretty much everywhere. We wanted to, uh, to be able to charge our device. So. I've got one here hanging out. I've got another one in the wall. So the table, we made it from uh, the countertop from the kitchen that we didn't use all of it. We bought that from Ikea. It was two huge countertop that we just cut down to the whatever we needed. Uh, that was really, really cheap. And uh, we love it. We love the effect. It's, a, it's a, I think, a workbench mostly for Ikea, but we love it as a countertop. And uh, we put some um, barn wood from Quebec uh, that has been restored and uh, put that all over the wall, even behind the, the couch for no reason. So we decided to name the bus up the Octobus because Sam and his dad uh, made a home boat. And, you know, because we are scuba divers, we decided, decided to name the boat the Octobus. So we decided to name the bus the Octa Bus. So this is just like following. Yeah, we both work in the dive industry for a while, so yeah. it was kind of a normal. It, it repre represent represent uh, uh, us. us the diving in the octopus is like that's our thing. So we decided to uh, to move in a bus. It was a lot of a lot of different thing actually that made us do that. Uh, we were working in the Great North in Canada with the Inuit communities uh, and we were kind of switching to something else. So um, when the COVID hit, uh, we were supposed to move to New Zealand actually. She had her nursing license there. So we were all set up to go there and probably build a van up in New Zealand. So when COVID hit, we said, okay, we're doing something else. So might as well stay here uh, back, back in Canada. Mm -hmm and uh, let's try to build something here. Two years ago we went to New Zealand to do a trip and uh, we rent a van, a minivan, and we really really liked uh, living in the van. So this is this is what inspired us to, yeah, to, to do the same to thing. To build a but bus, yeah. So actually we never seen or even heard about a, a transform mm -hmm. bus before we made it. Mm -hmm. um, the actually the movie uh, what was it uh, Expedition Happiness yeah. uh, that was the first like oh okay that, that that's possible that's too idea. so except for a van maybe a school bus might be a good idea and there's more space in it so. yeah because I wanted a van 
but uh, someone wanted something bigger and we are happy with the schoolie because we brought a lot of stuff, you know. We are scuba diving instructors and we like to dive so we brought all our gears with us. Uh, we also have our, our paddle boards, um, you know. A schoolie is bigger than a van and we are happy with that choice. Yeah, we couldn't fit uh, even just the scuba gear inside a van plus the, the living space you need it probably would have been mm -hmm. overwhelmed already. So that's why we chose a schoolie. Uh, we went to uh, two different uh, schoolie dealer uh, in back in Canada. The schoolie uh, bought, uh, but bus school bus yeah, yeah, school bus dealer. So um, they told us. Uh, actually, one of them told us, "Hey, maybe in your in your area, area, there's a school school bus district there. Try to ask them what what they got for sale and things like that." So we actually went maybe 30 minutes from home, find a school district that had buses, and uh, he said, "Yeah, I can sell you one of those." One of those buses and said okay let's go let's do it and they were actually a lot in better sh a lot better shape than what the dealership had all right so here we've got our all our instruments and uh so we've got the water pump the water eater here we've got the sea level tank monitor so this is kind of different of what we find in rv so this is displaying in percentage instead of uh like just one quarter and a half so it's like stickers that we stick on the tanks. So we've got the fresh water, the gray water. We didn't have it installed on the black water since we've got a composting toilet, but still we could add it if we wanted. And we've got the Renault G uh, inverter charger that we can turn on and off from this. But basically all the bus is 12 volts. So the only thing we need the inverter for is like the laptop charging or the blender or things like that. But uh, everything else is working on 12 volts. Here we are in the bathroom. Uh, we have a full-size shower uh, from Max. We, it was actually the first thing we put in the bus because it was too high for the ceiling and the, and the floor. So uh, that was the first thing I cut out, put there. Then we made the bus around the shower. So um, this is it. This is the full-size. So there's no water leak, whatever, inside because it's a one-piece made shower. So, so on this... Bathroom side, we've got the composting toilet, the um, nature's head. Uh, it's really worth the buck, actually. I didn't want to make one. We were at the end of the build. I was kind of tired of doing the bus at that point. So we bought that. We love it so far. The only modification we've made is that we took a PVC pipe and put it straight to the water, to the black water tank. So we can last maybe for two months with the, just for the pee. And then uh, I've got some more storage for the toilet paper in the wall here. We've got a cabinet for everything we need for the bathroom. So we decided not to put a sink in the bathroom because we said the sink is so close from one to another. We don't need another sink. We've got a uh, collapsible door here. We've got a curtain. So if you want privacy, it's got its own, its own places. And we've got a fan on top to remove the humidity that's coming straight from the shower into the to the vent and it does help a lot with E2. So we bought it in March and we finished building it six, six months later so... Yeah, I bought the school bus for my birthday the 13th, 30th of March, 13th yeah. of March and uh... So we, we, we quit our job and we were working full time on the bus and... Uh, yes, yeah. It took mm -hmm. us a big six months to complete the bus. Uh, we had help for the spray painting outside, mm -hmm. uh, but and my cousin for the kitchen. But otherwise, everything inside we've made it ourselves, yeah. and we have no experience in whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so we had no experience in building stuff like that. So that's so uh, we're proud of it. Yeah, we're really proud mm -hmm. of it. So uh, yeah, in the Octopus, uh, I'm kind of a geek a little bit, so I like my gadget and stuff like that. So uh, right here on top, we've got a hamburger projector from uh, Vankyo. Uh, it is, uh, it's, it's cheap. I think it's 150 bucks for the projector. It's battery powered. I've got two mm -hmm. hours on it and it's USB powered too. So I just plug it in when I, we listen to more than that. Uh, we can actually uh, send the, the, our phone straight on it or we can even uh, from our, we've got some portable like hard drive, hard drive with movies and stuff from 
hundreds, and hundreds, thousands of movies. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe not a good thing to say on TV. <laughs> anyway, so we could we can just project it back on the uh, on the projector from the R drive directly. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, we've got LED strip in the um, in the bedroom and also in the living room here. We can control it with Bluetooth. So we can choose the color, make it fit with music and like having a rave party inside here. <laughs> we've got a cell phone booster, we've got a Wi-Fi booster. So the cell phone booster, I'm not actually sure. It's not a Wii Boost, it's something cheap. Maybe I would go with something maybe higher end for my work. But everything that I put down in as far as booster or anything, it's all 12 volts. So I had to like cut the power cord and fit it to directly to the to the 12 volt uh, panel but most of the stuff you can buy even if it's on, on 110 power uh, you have most of the time you've got a converter that puts it in 12 volts so you can bypass that and just put it on the 12 volts directly so that's what we've done with that the power USB power is all 12 volts uh, what else the fridge the lights pretty the, much everything uh, yeah everything we don't need the inverter except for our laptop Charging the or, laptops and using my blenders yeah the blenders so welcome to the octobus kitchen so this is our favorite section of the bus because this is where i can hide my stuff you know because i like it when it's clean so we have lots of storage uh, for this part we had help from sam's cousin who owns a kitchen company so he's the one who made uh, all the cabinets and it was a bit expensive, you know, but uh, we love it so far. It is really worth it. It's good quality. And also for the countertop, we used the same material as uh, we did for the table over there. Uh, this part was really cheap. Uh, we got it from I IKEA and I think it was 120 bucks for every everything. So it was really cheap. Uh, here is our garbage bin. We love it because it is big and we also do recycle. Here we have some more storage right here. And one of the things that we really like about our kitchen is uh, we got all the equipment from an old, old RV scrap yard and we paid 500 for all the equipment. So we had the fan, uh, the, the stove, the oven, uh, the heater as well. We also had another fridge and we, I think we also got the water tanks, black tanks, gray tanks, lots of, of stuff from this RV. And after that, we sold the fridge for $1,000. So we made money. So uh, we had a Dominic fridge. It was really good, but we wanted a 12 volts fridge. So this is why we sold the, the other one. And we love this fridge so far because we have plenty of space and it, it works on solar panels. So this is where I can keep my stencils. So it's really big. Like I like Tupperware. So this is where I put all my Tupperwares, my pot and pans so as you can see you can organize pretty much everything so here we've got uh, our cups and plates we really really like to cook and we we love our kitchen because it, it is easy to use and it is really big so this is where we put all our spices <laughs> so here is the place where we keep our soda stream uh, my blender and also my pasta maker because we we like to eat fresh pasta you know uh, this part like this is where I keep all my food dry food here like uh, liquors and sodas and uh, this is a steel granite sink uh, we love it because it doesn't scratch or anything but one of the things that I, I have noticed is that it is quite big so it uses a lot of water when you want to do the dishes. So maybe um, if I would do the kitchen again maybe I would get a smaller one so we could save more water. Underneath this is where I keep all my cleaning products. So I have lots 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 of space underneath. So here we have our closet. Uh, this is where we put all our clothes. So we have four season clothes in here. I don't know if you see. Uh, we probably uh, brought too many clothes, but you know, we didn't know. 
um, here as well. Uh, this is Sam's shelf and this is mine. So this is where we, we put our stuff, you know. More storage here again. This is where we put all the electronics, the towels, uh, you know, makeups, girl stuff. Um, here, more, more storage. Where This is where I keep my um, laundry products, uh, napkins and medication as well. This is the thermostat and uh, this is the 12 volts uh, light right here. So the, it works as a dimmer as well. So the, we've got four panels of uh, 315 watts, so total of our, around 12, 1260 watt. Uh, here in Arizona, it's working really well. We don't need, we can do whatever we want with the power during the day, and it's uh, we 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 don't need a gener generator or anything. But, but but back in Canada, it wasn't enough, so we had to use the generator quite a lot. Yeah, during the winter time, even uh, in British Columbia, we thought we would be able to keep it up a little bit more, but it, we need the generator back then. Just the heater takes a lot of power, uh, so if I would do it again, I would put a diesel heater inside. But uh, back in Quebec, where we transformed the bus, uh, there's a lot of rules and specs to respect mm -hmm. to be able to be converted in a RV. RV. And that's one of the things we wanted to do most is we wanted to be an RV and not a um, a bus type or a, a registration of any anything else because the thing when once you're converted as an RV you can have insurance for the value of what you put inside. Otherwise, back in Quebec, if you're not transferred as an RV, you can only insure the value of the bus. So. Ourselves, the bus, uh, it was 6,000 6, Canadian, yeah. so we would have, if it caught on fire or anything, we would just have the value of that bus, so it was not possible for us what, for what we put inside it. So that's one of the, the things we had to put in. So the diesel eater was not easily accepted by the conversion back in Quebec, so we that's why we put all the equipment from a whole trailer inside. So for the income, so Sam is able to work on the road, which is really great. So he, he has a contract, he works 20 hours a week or sometimes more. And um, that's it, I am a registered nurse. So it's a little bit harder for me to work on the road. So I'm not working at the moment, but I am planning to get my license to work in British Columbia. We save money because we, like, like we said, we used to work in the great north of Canada, in the Arctic and when you go there you get um you get more money because it's really a hard condition to work to work there so this is how we 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 saved money to build the bus all right so this is the um the bedroom uh so we di we, we didn't want to buy a new mattress so we just put the our king size mattress in the octopus and actually it was one of the first thing we, we, we brought into the bus because it is so big and uh, I don't think that we can get it off at the moment. Uh, here we have more storage so this is where I keep my my games you know uh, books, um, knitting. I also made isolating curtains and I put magnet in it so I just close it like this and it works as a blackout as well. We also have a projector. Well, we can move the projector from the, the front of the bus and we can bring it in the bedroom. This is where I keep my, my coats, my jackets. And this is where I keep my dirty clothes, right here. We also have an AC. Uh, actually, it is a portable unit, so it works as an AC a heater and a, a humidificator. And we have Minou Perse. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Here we are on the outside of the octopus. So uh, this was a normal school bus, but they use it for like day trip and things like that. So they had it storage underneath. So that's original with the bus. Uh, we use it for all our gear we've got. So we're scuba divers. So we've got a scuba tanks here, um, more stuff inside. This is propane. <laughs> so here we go. We've got all of the, the, the gears and for uh, water filling and dumping, but also the two, we've got two 20 pounds propane tank here. So that's what we use for the heater, the water heater, and also the stovetop. 
On the other side, we've got the uh, electricity. So I've got an inverter charger from Renogy. Uh, we've got a DC to DC charger. We've got four six volt battery totaling 840 amps on 12 volts. So uh, this is the outside. If you can see here on the, on the side of the bus, we removed the bars, the reinforcement bars. So it made about 400 holes that we welded, potted out, sanded, and then we painted over it and added the polycarbonate sheet for the windows and put a decal over the whole bus. So we had something that really fits uh, what we wanted and what our lifestyle is. So uh, yeah, we've been together for uh, eight, years, eight now. years now. We met each other and uh, actually she was coming to scuba dive where I used to work. So we kind of I met was a up. a client. Yeah, <laughs> it's scuba diving. So I was uh, living actually in a small trailer, 20 foot, one foot trailer on the camping at that time. So the first time we met, yeah, we, we were at, the, at my trailer. So uh, after that, we she was at the university. I came back to the university for a while, and uh, then we headed back to where we met, and uh, we lived in that same trailer for the whole summer in a twenty foot one twenty one foot trailer, mm -hmm. and uh, twenty four hours working together, living together. So we're working kinda, in the know, same shop, uh, on the same boat, yes. uh, in a small RV. So yeah, we kind of used to getting uh, in small spaces together even at the start of our relationship. But still, even if it's a kind of a big bus, it's an open spaces, uh, you still need your spaces from time to time. So uh, I'm probably, uh, that's the thing, we would like a bigger table. A bigger table. What, what, what I don't like is, uh, well, when he's working, he uses all this, this space, you know, like all the table he put his chair in the middle of the, the middle of, the bus. of the bus so i cannot move around well um we know that it is a big bus but um we still need our space if i can say it like this <laughs> when we don't get along sometimes i go in the bathroom uh, no no bedroom <laughs> yeah in the bedroom and i, I stay in the kitchen but Still, it's it's <laughs> it's pretty easy. You've got a whole space outside that you can just go to, and you you can do your own things outside, and I can do my own things inside. But uh, it's yeah, been we, working with yeah. really well. And the the thing about the bus is wherever we park, we can be in the middle of the desert, we can be next to the water, we can be in the hole. It anywhere. always feels like we are at home. Yeah, and that's you, what we like about our bus. Yeah, you close the curtain, get the projector up in the bedroom, and you just lay in the bed and listen to a movie, and you don't you feel. You eat popcorn. You don't feel that. Uh, like you're doing camping, you're, you feel like you're at home everywhere you go. So if you want to follow us, you can follow us on Instagram, so uh, the.octobus. We also have a Facebook page, which is named The Octobus. And uh, we also have a blog, so www.theoctobus.com. So we hope to see you on the road. <laughs>